If you've been wanting to learn how to leverage your debt with FHA financing to be able to boost yourself into a career of real estate investments, this video is going to be for you. Now, before I jump into releasing all of my industry secrets, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share our video and hit the subscribe button. More importantly, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> So we can continue to make great educational resources available to you guys completely for free. Thank you. So just to jump into all of this to get started. The basics of, of being able to qualify for FHA is very simple. If you have a 500 to 579 credit score, you'll be able to qualify with 10% or more down. Now, the likelihood of actually getting approved on that spectrum is not necessarily the best, so take your risks very, very lightly with that range. 580 plus, you're looking at about 3.5% down. Now, this is where comes the interesting industry leverage points. So you can actually buy up to four units with FHA financing. Okay, and FHA financing basically just says that you are required to occupy one of the units. So if you are a young adult or anybody for that matter, you are really able to leverage your debt right now and project yourself into a real estate investment career. And we help you at our real estate brokerage. So we provide exclusive buyer's agency and basically what we do is we sit down with you we go over the financials, we go over the properties numbers. So when I say financials and properties numbers, I basically just mean we look at your overhead and we look at your revenue that is pro forma on the property or is already current. Now, if you are gonna really end up making this a serious type of an investment and you really wanna take advantage completely, I highly suggest you end up purchasing a value add property. This way you can at least put some more equity into the property and then eventually just do a cash out refi with a conventional or commercial financing, depending if you're doing short term rentals. But if you're doing long term, you just do like a traditional conventional financing, cash out, take out all of that money that you built into the equity and you put in there with all of your, your, your sweat equity. <laughs> as we call it, and you're going to move those funds after like two years or three years. Um, I can't remember the exact time frame with FHA, but a loan officer will be able to help us with that. But you're going to take all of that money and you're going to move it into another primary residence for yourself. So if you're going to see what I'm saying, right, right, you're going to go ahead, you're going to buy a four unit, right, and you can partner, you can, you can get another first time home buyer on that loan with you so you qualify for four units. You're going to make it better, and then in two to three years, you're gonna take out all of that cash with that equity, that sweat, sweat, equity, equity. <laughs> and you're gonna go buy another nicer house with maybe four units again. And you're gonna keep doing this until you have a large portfolio. Now, in some circumstances, you may not be able to qualify for four units, and that's completely okay. You can start out with two units, three units, and you can even do this with a single family residence. So the nice thing about Brevard County with single family residences is you can actually put an ADU in the back or you can have like a mother-in-law suite and those you can also rent out. Now you have to be very specific because you may still, you're gonna still need to occupy the property if you have additional units on that you're allowed to have but you can rent those out and still make money off of them. There's a lot of ways into that. Now, the nice thing about hiring us is we'll actually go through all of the pros and cons of each specific property available to you, run all of the numbers on it, show you what you could and could not make, your highs, your lows, your mediums, your averages, everything. We help you assess the property from A to Z, and then we are going to help you negotiate the property's offer. So you found the property, we do all the negotiations for you. We'll keep you involved in all of it. So you'll actually be able to kind of see where we're negotiating and put your input in there and say, hey, this is what I, I want. Let's do this. And we'll help you try to do that or find the win-win with the homeowner that's selling. Now, after negotiations are done, you just move into executing the documents, go into due diligence. 
after all the documents are executed, you just move into due diligence. Now, due diligence is a very nice way of saying, this is when you're gonna go and do all of the inspections that you can afford and rip that property apart from the inside out. And that's again where we're gonna come in and we're gonna negotiate on your behalf to get as many credits and concessions as possible for you, okay? And I love being aggressive with negotiations, so if you're looking for an aggressive realtor, well, broker, then I am gonna be probably the best bet. I'm very familiar with zonings and I just like to play ball. <laughs> okay, so with all of that being said, guys, it's really just a great opportunity for you to be able to continue building generational wealth. After we do the inspections, and the nice thing about it is we actually help you schedule the inspections. We have all of the vendors already ready for you, and we make it so one, two, three, easy peasy, that it's just silly. You could literally just hand us a pre-approval and we'll do the rest for you. We will help you from every angle possible and you will be involved in all of it. We believe in clear communication. And honestly, if you're really just trying to leverage that debt and get into your real estate career, that's gonna be your best bet, especially if you don't know where to start or how to start. And another nice thing is like, let's say that you have the three additional units or another just single unit and you wanna occupy one of the properties, we do still offer full service management in addition to that. So we can help you stabilize your property, rent it out, find the tenant, pre-screen the tenant, and then keep that going with the tenant and manage them thereafter. So it's completely passive. So now you have this completely passive primary residence that's being paid off and is hopefully making you great profit. So you're gonna take some of that profit and we can actually help you with this. We can automatically save for you too. You're gonna take some of that money and you're gonna save it up a little bit. You put it back into the property and then two years, three years down the road or whenever you're ready, you're gonna cash out, refi, move it along like we've already discussed. And we're gonna help you also with that. And eventually you're gonna get to the point where you're just so far out there that you are gonna be able to realize that anything is possible, okay? And in addition to that, you may actually end up getting into commercial, right? Because you've already familiarized yourself with the residential multifamily that you may feel comfortable enough to jump headfirst into commercial multifamily.